Hey guys, I was able to successfully uh, redo the uh, lead dress. As far as I can tell, looking at my DC resistance, everything looks uh, good on the power transformer. We'll apply some uh, AC voltage to the transformer in just a little bit, a lower voltage than the uh, line voltage at my place of around 120 volts AC. But uh, first thing I want to do is use my uh, nifty little tester. I built this to test for leaky capacitors. Of course, about every capacitor you pull from a vintage radio is going to be found leaky. Uh, this will allow me to look for a DC resistance up to about uh, 2 billion ohms. So the first thing I'm going to do is go from the housing itself back over to the uh, windings and uh, just make sure my LED light doesn't come on. And you guys can see if I attach back to the housing, you can see the LED light indicates, which would indicate we have a short. So the idea is you may see a brief flash, but you should not see a uh, steady light. So this is the uh, high voltage winding on the uh, left side. I don't even need to check the uh, center tap at this location, but I will. And then we'll look at the uh, five volt filament. And we're good there. We'll go back over to the uh, primary side of the transformer. And then we'll look at the uh, 6.3 volt winding. So everything looks good there. Let me grab another lead and we'll do the same test, but we'll test for any type of DC resistance or leakage between the uh, windings themselves. For example, primary to secondary or across any of the uh, secondary windings. And uh, we'll do an example here. The yellow leads that you can see, that would be the uh, five volt filament winding. So if I attach here, you can see the light come on because I'm across that winding. So if I'm at the uh, five volt winding here, I should be able to go to the uh, center tap location. The light or LED should not illuminate. That's the uh, high voltage winding, the red. And let's jump back over to uh, the primary nothing there and then we'll look at the 6.3 volt winding and nothing there so that's a great sign let's look at the uh, high voltage then again we've already made this test but we'll go back and do it again go from high voltage back to the uh, 5 volt winding back to the uh, primary back to the 6.3 volt winding and we're good there. It's an interesting little circuit. If you're interested in uh, more, just uh, look at the right top of your screen. Depending on your viewing device or check out the uh, video description itself, there'll be a link there to the uh, video itself and a link for the uh, schematic and BOM. Let me get my AC transformer over here and uh, hook it up and let's extrapolate the uh, voltages for the uh, high voltage in addition to uh, both uh, filament voltages, the five volt winding for the rectifier tube and the 6.3 volt winding. And uh, just see what that looks like. Make sure nothing is uh, changed or has changed on me since I did my uh, preliminary test before taking this thing apart and uh, cleaning it up really well. You can see I'm going to just use this little transformer AC to AC 120 volt in and it says 9 volts out but this thing anywhere from 12 to 15 volts. AC out is what I typically see. We'll measure that and then we'll extrapolate the uh, numbers and calculate the other winding voltages for the uh, 5 volt 
filament for the rectifier, the 6.3 in green, and the high voltage uh, winding as well. You guys can see I have the uh, power transformer uh, color coded, so the black here represents the uh, primary. And let's just measure our input voltage. Go to AC on the meter. And you can see right now we're about 11.85. Let me just make note of that real quick. As I mentioned earlier, we read 11.85 volts on the line input. Again, with the transformer unloaded. So if you look at the calculations, I can take my 120 volt line voltage would kind of be my average plus or minus a few volts. Divide that by the 11.85. And you can see our ratio is about 10.12 uh, and some change. I can multiply that by my reading here, 75. We don't need a calculator for that, but you can see that puts me at about 759 and a half. If I divide that by two, that would give me an unloaded voltage across the uh, tri transformer to each plate of around 379 volts AC. Again, unloaded to the uh, rectifier tube. Let me move one lead here back down to the center tap and see if we read close to uh, one half of the uh, 75. And you can see we do. Okay, let's do the same thing now for the 6.3 volt winding. And you can see we're at uh, 0 0.702. As we did in the previous example, I can take the 0 0.702 times the 10.12 and some change. And you can see that gives me a voltage on the 6.3 and loaded around 7.1 volts. Let's look at the 5 volt winding. And again, with our ratio being around 10, I can just multiply the 10.1 uh, and some change times the uh, 0.55. So you can see I'm just uh, north of my 5 volt filament voltage for the uh, Type 80 rectifier tube. So I think the transformer is actually going to be okay. We'll know more later when we put it under load. One thing we'll look for would be the uh, wattage of the uh, transformer with no load. And of course, under load, we'll look for other issues with any type of voltage drops, etc. I'll decide later about the uh, hardware. It's uh, still de-rusting. You guys saw that earlier. I'll let that continue to uh, de-rust overnight in the Evapa rust and uh, see what part of the uh, hardware I'll be able to uh, actually retain and use. I appreciate you guys watching. Everyone out there, take care and stay well.